Now we're going to make these little rivets. Alright, so I'm going back to looking at the bottom. And we want to... Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. So I want to go back to extrusion number two. Click the plus sign and edit this sketch too. So I'm going to right click on it, edit sketch. I need to change this dimension right here from 0.07 to 0.05. Sorry about that. All right, and that's, you know, getting getting used to your browser over here. Now, if you don't have your browser, okay, so if your browser is missing, you need to go to view, user interface, and make sure you click browser. All right, that'll get you back open. Uh, that'll, that'll make sure you can right, um, right click on sketch two, go to, sorry, let me finish this sketch. So it'll look like this. Hit your plus sign, right click on sketch two, edit sketch, and then we want to change this number to 0.05. All right, now I want to work right down here. So I want to draw a small rectangle after I project, oh gosh dang it, sorry. Starting over, all right. Here we go, we just changed that shell, we're good. Now I want to start a new sketch right on top of here and project my geometry around this uh, circle or small rectangle we've created. Project geometry. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hit rectangle. And I'm going to draw it right on that outside edge. And it needs to be 0.25 wide I'm sorry 0 0.025 wide by 0 0.04 in depth really tough to see I'm going to hit F9 to turn off those constraints I'm going to look at it does that look right I don't think it does because it's not wide enough. So double click on that and it's actually 0 0.05. There you go, that looks right. Okay. We need to dimension that. So I project geometry, dimension it off this outside edge. We're going to dimension the side with the side here and that needs to be equal to point nine five minus use that as a calculator point nine five minus point zero two five hit enter, you'll see it shift to the right, in my case. All right. All right, we're going to finish this. I want to kind of look at it from an angle. And extrude it, and click that small rectangle that you just made. and change the direction of it and hit to next so it goes all the way up the side and hit OK. We've got something that looks like that. Alright, now we're going to use something we haven't used yet. It's called a rectangular pattern. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hit rectangular pattern I'm going to click on what we just created. 
and I want to ch choose a direction and I want to go down this line right here and it, it sends me to my right. I want to switch the directions right there and the distance I want to put it at is 0.965. Click OK. And there we go there. All right. Looking good. And I need two more of those on the other side. So I'm going to create a plane. And I am going to make a midpoint plane. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to rotate around so I can pick this outside surface. And guess what I'm going to do? Use my mirror tool. Click on both of those. Click on my mirror. Or I'm sorry, my plane. Come here, plane. Hit OK. I'm going to right click on my work plane and make it invisible. And I'm going to pause it here to save my work.